everybody! Welcome back to more RPG Maker MZ tutorials. In this lesson, we will learn how to make a save point. Save points are classic things that you can use to save. Think of it like the churches from Dragon Quest, or maybe like one of those star things from Undertale. They are still save points regardless, and let's learn how to make one ourselves. To start off, you can do this anywhere. For now, let's do this right here, in this testing room that I've made. We're going to click on New, and we're going to make an event called Save Point. Next, we're going to choose our image. You can do whatever you want for this, but I personally like to make an asset for this. I made this asset ahead of time to use for a save state. I'm going to use this thing right here for our save point. But now, here's the catch. Save points are going to be used a lot. And to save time and effort later down the line, we're going to do this as a common event. Common events are events that can be triggered on a, on a dime, and they can save data later on, especially when you're doing with a lot of them. Let's make this common event. Let's call it save point. And for the trigger, we're going to keep it on none, so it will only trigger when we want it to. So. What we do is going to do the basics. We're going to do this. We're going to start by clicking on Recover All Entire Party. You could, This part isn't completely optional if you don't want your character to heal at this save point. You can do this if you want, but I would rather prefer it for the convenience of the player. And what we're going to do is, is have this piece of text say, Let's add a sound. Let's add a sound effect to make sure that we know that our player is going to get this. All right. To do this, we're going to go to the audio and video tab on the second tab of the event commands. Play sound effect. Now let's look for a sound effect that we like. Hmm. Maybe like a sparkly sound. Wait. How about the recovery sound? That'll work. Let's see, it's somewhere here. It's in the R's. There it is, recovery. That'll work. Now let's do an ask question for the player. You do at this save. And now we're going to have to show choices. So what we can do is save and exit. We'll add more in a later episode. And I'll tell you why in a bit. We'll use the save point for a multi-purpose scenario. Now, to, now for the actual saving parts. This is the most important part to make an actual save point. What we do is go to Scene Control and click on Open Save Screen. While we're at it, let's actually add a new one. Now for the open menu tab. We're going to do the open menu block at the menu screen. And that'll be it. Let's add a bit of flair to this. Now let's make the save point actually trigger the common event. So what we do is go to the first tab, click common event, and click on the first one we made, which is save point. 
We're going to make it below character so it can be passed over, and then we're going to have it be player touch. Wait, before I do, wait, before I do, we're going to edit this and make it so that it's stepping so we can animate it a little. There we go. Now let's test it. See how this moves? As you can see, we can open the menu. And we can open the save menu and save. that for a second. Let's just redo the tutorial. We can make this thing even better. Let's go into our let's go into our say let's go into our common event again. Let's add it let's make it snazzier. Let's add new and we're gonna make and we're gonna flash the screen with a green light. There it is, screen, in the event commands number two. I'm gonna tone down the intensity, make it nice and mint. There we go, this looks good. Move the recovery block to there. Remove that. And we're going to move the recover all to there. Now we have our snazzier save point. Let's see it in action. Alright, let's go on to our save point. This looks a bit snazzier. Let's do one more edit. We're going to change the intensity of the flash screen so it's a bit more prominent. Now that looks pretty good. all the basics into making a save point. Enjoy making save points all over your game. They're very handy and they're very useful for the player. Enjoy making them and I'll see you guys next time.